Hey, hey, hey. All right. Welcome. Today is Tuesday, the 9th of February. Let's learn with Mike. Okay. We have a $2 note. So $2 note, now we have the $2 coin in Australia, but this was the $2 note. There's the Commonwealth and the Commonwealth of Australia note, which was definitely less common to find. Uh, doesn't have an asterisk uh, or a star next to it. So uh, if it did, it'd be worth a lot more money. And then you have the pretty common Australia note. Uh, but again, they don't have these anymore because they were paper that used to tear, that uh, crumble in the wash and, and disintegrate, which means they basically wear away to nothing. So now we have the $2 coin. So these are in mint condition, which means they're very, very good condition, not very creased. They haven't been used too many times. Um, so it's great to have a note in mint condition. All right, so that's good learning. I thought I'd show you this. There are many Australian coins, and this is a 50 cent coin. Now, 50 cent coin has 12 sides, and a 12 sides is a dodecagon. All right, a decagon is 10 side, um, but a 12 sided shape is a dodecagon. So there you go. Now, this was made in 1977, so it was an Australian Jubilee, um, which was, there's different Jubilees, but Jubilee is sort of like a time to remember something, and this was a 1977 Australian Jubilee. 50 cent coin but there's so many different types of 50 cent coins in australia with different patterns and shapes but it'll always usually have the queens well it does have the well, unless they're well i don't need to look into it not well the 50 cent coin always had the um the queen of england's uh head on there and profile which means the side of her face um and it shows this was when she was pretty young and at some point they changed it and made her look a little bit older um, the Queen's profile. So this is a 50 cent Jubilee coin. You see them every now and then, but it's very hard to find 1977 one. Not as common anymore. What else do we have to learn? Okay, let's learn uh, something quickly that we're going to learn with maths soon. If we have two lines and they have a point where they touch like that, all of a sudden I've created an angle. So that's called an interior angle. It's the inside of it. This is the exterior angle, the outside of it. So angles are when two lines move apart from one another. So if that two lines were on top of one another, well then there's no angle. As soon as one of them moves from the other one, I've created an angle. And I love angles, there's angles everywhere. The best angle that's most common to find and to see around is a right angle. So can you see this? That's a right angle. Whenever it's like that, like a letter L, depends which way I turn it, it's called a right angle, and that's 90 degrees. And we're going to talk about angles because one full circle or revolution is called a, a 360 degree um, turn. So one full circle is a revolution, and it's 360 degrees. Again, I'll be talking about angles lots of different times. So look for right angles around. So any corner, I can see one up there. Any corner like that is a right angle, all right, which is 90 degrees. We'll get used to it. All righty, great learning today. Enjoy. We'll speak again soon. Have a good one. See ya. Bye.